Hello, all you wonderful Ever After High fans. This is the doll that I have been waiting for and hotly anticipating the most. Melody Piper, daughter of the Pied Piper. When I first found out that she would be released, I made her a bed all those months ago. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how she looks with her bed. But first, let's look at her side of her box shows her artwork and as you saw her emblem was the set of headphones we don't we see a lot of melody in webisodes but we don't hear her speak that much so it's nice to find out a little bit more about her from the back of her box like the fact that her favorite subject in school is woodshop i wouldn't have thought so but it is and that her uh, magical ability is to hypnotize people on the flute and that her best friends till the end are Ginger Breadhouse, who is of course her roommate, and Justine Dancer. Now here's a sneak peek at my next giveaway. Drum roll please. Okay, mouth drum roll. I have two of Melody, one to keep and one to give away. Actually, I actually have two of Justine and two of Farah as well, one to keep, one to give away. So watch out for that video. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this story, Pied Piper of Hamlin, and you'll know why she doesn't want to be a Pied Piper. Story goes like this, town called Hamlin has a big rat problem, no one can help except the Pied Piper. He names a price, the town agrees. He plays his flute, hypnotizing the rats and leading them to drown in a river. He goes to collect payment. They decide not to pay because the price is too high. Hence there's a phrase, it's time to pay the Piper. And uh, when they refuse to pay, he plays his flute again while they're away at church and he leads all their children away into a cave and they are never to be seen again. So basically he kidnaps an entire town's children because they don't pay him. And as a mom, I'm sure all moms out there feel this way, it's heartbreaking, so she should change her story. That's what I think. Here's what she comes with. Her silver comb, her story, a doll stand that I have yet to put together, and her purse, which looks like a record player. And we'll examine that later. I always start off by reading the doll's stories. I don't know why, but this story is uh, cute, but not as enjoyable as Farah's and Justine's, which I loved. It's basically about Melody being asked to DJ at the O'Hare Twins birthday bash, and Poppy and Holly have such different tastes in music that Melody has a hard time mixing them together. So Ginger provides her a hint and she figures it out. Now, one thing that is cool is there is a new character hinted at, Michelle Mermaid, the next Little Mermaid. So I'm excited for that. Now, Melody uh, looks nothing like her Amazon promotional photo. If you go to Amazon and type in Melody Piper, you'll see something like this. And this does not look like the doll that we have. This doll has a much fuller face, blue eyes, less pursed lips. That's not to say it's bad. Here I'm examining her eyebrow. I actually think that this Melody is gorgeous. Um, a very supermodel looking face. Kind of like a, a cross between Cerise's face mold and Ginger Breadhouse's face mold. Maybe it's even Ginger's face mold. But there's her profile, which is very stunning and striking. And so um, her eyes have been the subject of a lot of controversy. In the photos that you saw, they were blue. In the webisodes, they're brown. People are mad. But in real life, they're light purple. And so is her eyeshadow. Two shades of lavender or purple. Just like in the webisodes, she has white hair streaked through with this uh, reddish burgundy color. I might call it garnet. She wears a set of headphones, which are held on by a rubber band. And I'm not going to remove them because I may never get them to sit right again. And the hair in the back is very long. It is white with those uh, burgundy, reddish burgundy streaks. And it's very soft, not a lot of gel in the back, which is, which is nice. In the front though, it's a different story. The bangs are very hard, very hardened, I guess, because they have to lay flat. Um, I really like that dark wine colored lipstick she has on. I was just checking here to see if she had earrings and she does not. She wears a three-layered choker with, uh, that is silver with spikes, and there's a little note hanging off of it. She's wearing a bright lemon yellow peplum tank top with um, lots of treble clefts uh, as her motif. A black snakeskin sort of vest lined with silver, which I think are supposed to suggest silver sequins. 
And um, unfortunately, the, the vest and the tank top are all sewn together in one piece. Can you guys see that? I'm sure that was to save money, but it's disappointing anyway that it's not two pieces. I wanted to show you guys the texture. See how that looks, snakeskin? That's a cute detail, I like that. And then you can see when you open up her dress in the back that it is all sewn together. Uh, she's wearing a black crisscross belt and her skirt is also that reddish burgundy color with a treble clef pattern or design. And the bottom flares out, with, which is lined with that lemon yellow hem. No leggings. I could have sworn she had leggings in the webisodes, but a cute leg tattoo and these awesome punk rockish edgy black platform boots with high heels and with treble clefts at her heels. She has a very cute chunky cuff bracelet in black with spikes. I'm not sure why there's a rubber band there, but I think I can remove it without hurting anything. And now let's take a look at her purse. It looks like a record player, like a long plane, like an LP player, not a CD player. And I'm sure she carries her LPs around in here, her albums that she brings um, to DJ at all the Ever After High parties. And let's put her in her and Ginger's room. Oh, I see that uh, Justine has come to visit. My daughter was playing here. And there's her bed that I made for her. And I see now that uh, the blanket is purple and her skirt is redder and that she doesn't match. So I think I would like to remake her bed. My daughter says no, she likes Melody's bed. But you know, I remade Ginger's bed recently and now it's all fancy. And so I feel like maybe Melody's gonna get shortchanged. Well, let me ask you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think I should remake her bed? And what do you think of Melody in general? Let me know in the comments below. Look out for my giveaway video. And I wanna thank you all for watching and subscribing.